Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how to find the shortest distance between a line and a plane. So the first thing that I like to do is to visualize a problem like this. So let's just draw some arbitrary plane in R3 and then we'll draw a line as well. So here's our plane right here. And if we were to draw a line, there's well, there's a, two ways that we could draw this, right? One way to draw a line in R3 with this plane is this passes right through the plane like this. So it goes through the through the back, and then you can see it sticking out through the, the top side of there. And if this is the case, then this question is super easy to solve. The shortest distance between this line and that plane is very clearly zero because it intersects right into the plane, right? So chances are that uh, if you get a question like this, it's not going to be intersecting and it would be parallel. But there is the chance that, uh, you know, a professor or someone could try to trick you with one of these questions and it would be zero. But usually it means that there's some line like this and we'll, we'll call this L and this is our plane and we're looking for the shortest distance to the plane and we know that it's going to be that perpendicular distance right shortest distance always has to do with what's perpendicular to what you're looking at right so what is that distance so first of all let's check if this line is perp uh, perpendicular or excuse me, if this line is parallel to this plane. And one way that we can do that is we can check to see if the normal vector to the plane is perpendicular to the direction vector of the line. So let's go ahead and, well, we know what the direction vector of the line is, right? The direction vector of the line, we can get right from our vector equation, and that's negative 1, 3, 2. And we know that the normal to the plane, since we're given the scalar equation of the plane, we can read it right off as the coefficients in front of the variables. So that would be 3, 1, 0. So let's, let's check now. Well, the direction vector of the line dotted with n, well, we're hoping that this is going to be 0 because that would indicate that they're perpendicular, which indicates that uh, the plane and the line are parallel. Well, the dot product is going to be negative 1 times 3 plus 3 times 1 plus 2 times 0. And clearly, that is going to be equal to 0. And thus, we know that the line and the plane are parallel to each other. So the next thing that we'd like to do is we want to figure out what that distance is of that green uh, that green distance that I've drawn on this quick visualization. So let me get rid of that green for now, and let's just come up with a vector that 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 would uh, represent that distance. Okay. <clears throat> so let me move things around just a little bit. Let's take a random point on the plane. We'll call this p zero or p naught. And let's take some other point on the line. And we'll just call that point P. So if I were to take this vector that connects P naught to P, and let's also draw on here, we do have this uh, normal vector of the plane right here. And that's perpendicular to the plane. Now, if you were to project p naught to p onto the normal vector, well, that would just give us a vector like this, right? This would be the projection of p naught to p onto the normal, right? And since it's the projection onto the normal, we know it's also going to be perpendicular 
right? It's going to be perpendicular to the plane, and the tip of that vector is going to be at the point P. So that projection is actually the vector that represents the shortest distance. So to actually find the distance, we just need the magnitude of that vector, or the, the norm. So we just need to calculate that vector, and then we just need to uh, find the norm of that vector. And let me label this as P0 to P as well. Great, so now it's just computation. Scroll down a bit. Okay, well, P0 to P. To compute this vector, we subtract the vector from the origin to P with the origin to P0. Okay, well, the origin to point P, well, we just need a point P on the line. That's pretty easy to find because if you look at the vector equation of the line, we can easily see that if we plug in t is equal to 0, then one point would be 4, 1, negative 1. So the origin to that point would be represented by the vector 4, 1, negative 1. And now we are subtracting from the origin to a point on the plane. Okay. Well, we are given the scalar equation of the plane. So what we need to do to figure out a point on this plane, we just need to come up with a value of x1, x2, and x3, such that the scalar equation of the plane is satisfied. And you know, that's actually quite easy to do, right? Let's just select uh, x1 to be 0. We can select x2 to be equal to 2. And then we can select x3 to be equal to 0, right? Because you can see if you were to plug in those values of x1, x2, and x3 into our scalar equation of the plane, it would be satisfied. Therefore, that, that point must be on the plane. So we can see that the origin to p0 would be represented by that vector 0, 2, 0. Now, Subtracting those two vectors, we're, get, we're getting 4 minus 0 is 4, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. And now we've got p naught to p, the vector, that blue vector there. Let's actually change that to the color blue. All right. So we've gotten p naught to p. And remember, we are looking for the projection of p naught to p onto the normal. And we've already got the normal. So, okay, let's, let's just compute the projection vector. We know that projection of one vector onto the other is going to be p naught to p dotted with the norm divided by the norm squared or the, uh, the magnitude of the norm squared, and it's in the direction of the norm. Great. So this will be 4 times 3 plus negative 1 times 1 plus negative 1 times 0 and then the norm squared of the normal vector will be just the square of all of its coordinates which is 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 0 squared in the direction of 3 1 0 That top is going to give us 12 minus 1 is 11. The denominator is going to be 10. And this is the direction 3, 1, 0. And finally, we just need to find the norm of this vector. Norm of the projection from p naught onto p naught to p onto the norm that's going to be equal to 
Well, we can pull out the 11 over 10, and then we can do the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 0 squared. And then in final form, we would get 11. That's going to be square root of 10, all of this over 10. And then this is fully simplified. And this would be our shortest distance, this answer right here. So just to recap that, you can see at first we double check that the line is perpendicular or the line is parallel with the plane by checking if the dot product of the direction vector of the line is going to be perpendicular to the norm of the plane. Once we verified that they're perpendicular, we concluded that the line and the plane must be parallel. So we found the vector from a point on the plane to a point on the line, projected that onto the normal vector of the plane, and then we noticed that that distance is going to be the shortest distance. So we took the norm of that projection vector, and that's about it for this question. So if you have any other questions or if this isn't clear, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to help.